Some small screen stars are taking the stage at the Pasadena Playhouse performing in the classic Pulitzer Prize winning play Our Town. And Doug Hulk shows us what makes the show so unique. Micah and Cher, it's a new production of the classic play. Same beautiful script, but performed in English and sign language. Our Town has been seen many times before. Oh, I don't mean the answers, Emma. Of course not. I mean, just some little hint. In fact, it's a Pulitzer Prize winning play. I don't see how I'd give up a thing like that just to get married. Oh, this is the greatest play ever written. But for anyone coming to the Pasadena Playhouse. I heard it was actually performed here at this theater in 39. You're getting that classic feel with a whole lot more. It's just about a New England, New Hampshire town in 1901 through 1913 and their life. Not only will you find recognizable faces. Mr. Webb. It's a real testimony to what I like to think of as the sacred ordinary. With Jane Kaczmarek. Girls don't do these things. Girls are nicer. Family, smelling the flowers, listening to a choir sing. Russell Harvard. Look at me. You're lower than a bastard. And Dot Marie Jones. On about how I can't sing. But this production plays for the deaf. It's the women folk who built up weddings, my boy. I think it makes it more emotionally, emotionally charged. Making sure the knots tied in a mighty public way. Simultaneously performed in sign language and English. Oh, yes. How's she doing? Handles it like a pro. Handles it like a pro, especially in the theater setting. He just has patience. <laughs> Adding extra beauty. It's about stopping the busyness to an already perfect script. This message is basically put down your device and um, talk to your kids, talk to your husband, and just appreciating the sacred ordinary. Our Town officially opens at the Pasadena Playhouse this Sunday and runs through October 22nd. For tickets, head to PasadenaPlayhouse.org. With your entertainment report, Doug Kolk, KTLA 5 News. Hey everybody, welcome back to In Future Tense. Today's going to be a little different. Uh, this vlog is probably going to include two days worth of events just because I'm not sure how long tomorrow will be. Uh, but I am very, very excited about what is coming tomorrow. Uh, but today, I'm going to pick up my friend Chris. We're going to go up to Crafton Hills College up here in Ukaipa and meet my bestie, uh, Caitlin. Uh, we're going to sit down and talk over next month's deaf video. Uh, and then we're going to uh, probably grab some grub if I have the time. I hope today's going to be a crazy day, a lot of things going on, but we'll see what happens. Either way, it'll be exciting. And then tomorrow, I'm going to a play with Chris. We are going to see Our Town, done by the Deaf West Theater in the Pasadena Playhouse. So I have no idea what to expect other than what I've seen on YouTube, but it looks like it's going to be a phenomenal interpretation of a legendary play. So I'm excited. The day's beginning. We're going forward. We're going to do some random crazy things. Get my mom to the airport. Throw a party tonight. I mean, uh, uh, get my mom to the airport. Go to work tonight. It'll be great. We got me and Chris here at Craft Nails College. We're about to meet up with our friend Caitlin. Start doing some talks over this deaf video we want to do. decide what the release date's going to be, but it should be good. We've got some really good solid plans. We just need to consult some uh, some uh, seniors, if you will, in the deaf community, some people who know more than we do to see if it's going to be appropriate to do the video. But I have very little worry, so we will continue forward with that, and hopefully we'll have a really good uh, solid plan by the end of the month and see where it goes from there. Now I'm going to go pick out my mom at the, uh, the house, bring her to the airport, get rid of her, have that party I was, I mean that, uh, that relaxation time I was talking about, and uh, we'll have a great rest of the day hanging out with my buddy Chris. This is a nice road we're taking. Yeah, this is the back road, I love this road. Go straight to my house. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's fun when you're jamming music down here in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah. It's really dark. 
<laughs> You're a film star, Mom! So now I got rid of my mom, got rid of Chris, here at work, having fun. Alright, so I'm here with the Wi-Fi and there's a new day, this is the second day of this vlog. I have great plans coming up which I'll talk to you about a little later. But uh, send her some luck because she needs it. She's looking for a job. So if you know some back alley warehouse or something where she can start working with the mob, just you know, shoot me a comment and uh, we'll hook her up with that. She didn't think that was funny, but I thought it was pretty good. Anyway, so uh, next up, gonna go get Chris and we're we'll gonna get a party on. You like cancer. We all like cancer. Everybody cancer. Make that up. Gotta have some McDonald's drive through footage, come on now, you know. This is for my documentary with Pink Slime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the rapper's name. <laughs> Can you say hi for mommy? Say hi. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi. Go. Alright guys, so we're back here at the house, but not for long, because even though my friend Chris and I are going to be hanging out, here's Chris eating his McDonald's so he can get cancer and die! Yeah. We're going to go down to the Pasadena Playhouse and see our town, uh, and this is going to be a very special performance. Uh, Deaf West is collaborating with the Pasadena Playhouse to do a interpretation to raise awareness for and celebrate the communication of the deaf community. I personally am excited because Dot Marie Jones from Glee is going to be in this play. I'm really hoping I can get her autograph, maybe get a selfie with her. We'll see what happens. But either way, it's going to be an educating and eye-opening experience. And I, for one, am excited. But for now, it's time to chill. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so now's the moment of truth. I'm excited. Chris, are you excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're all excited. So we're going to go ahead and see it. It's going to be signed. It's yep. going to be uh, unique. It's going to be different. And I'm looking forward to seeing something I haven't seen before. So we just finished up our town over here with a phenomenal cast and a phenomenal way of presenting a unique and classic story. Uh, incorporating sign language with the spoken word, they were able to portray a story of our town, our world, as it is and as it should be. How we remember things and how we look at things. I enjoyed myself. I know Chris enjoyed himself. And I'm just hoping that I'll get another chance in the future see our town once more. Alright guys, we got a bonus feature because I wasn't sure, but I got the opportunity to meet the great, the one, the only, the legend, Dot Marie Jones. Now for those of you who don't know who she is, she is an activist. She is a voice. She is an actress of epic proportions. Her main thing that people know her from is the show Glee. As Coach Beast, the underappreciated, strong, but feminine coach. Now, for today, she was in our town. Uh, it was really such a great production, and I am just so grateful that I went to see it. Uh, but she is the reason I went to see it. Our town, though, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't read it, go watch it, go see it. Phenomenal story. I couldn't hear a whole lot of it because I have some hearing problems, but... From what I could hear, phenomenal story. From what I could see, though, 
that's where I really got emotional because I'm able to watch these people uh, doing sign language and I could see their faces and I could hear parts of it and even though I didn't get the full picture it was still an impacting play so if you haven't seen it please take the time just you know go watch it if you don't like it never have to watch it again right but you can't hurt yourself to watch something new um, anyway I'm gonna put a picture right after this and then I'll roll into my credits but I just really wanted to add this in so that I appreciate Dot Marie Jones, I appreciate the cast of our town, I appreciate the cast from the Deaf West uh, uh, group, and I appreciated all the time I got to spend with my buddy Chris, with my bestie Katie, uh, with my wife, with my kid, and thank you Dot Marie Jones for being so gracious when I met you, thank you for being uh, so attentive, for uh, being so loving, and for just being such a great actress and a great person. Alright guys, so I'm tired as all heck, but now I've said my thank yous, you guys have come on this trip with me, I just want to say good night. I hope you have a great day, I hope whatever you do, you're productive and you're positive with it. We are taking the quest for positivity all the way to the bank guys. It is almost 2 in the morning, I am exhausted, so with that I want to say have a great future, have an intense future, and we'll see you soon. Stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you guys for joining me on another vlog from In Future Tense. It's always exciting to share my life with you, and I hope you'll join me again next time. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and click subscribe or the like button. And if you didn't like what you saw, please feel free to leave some feedback uh, down below in the comment section so I can try and improve my content to make it more interesting and more suited to what you're looking for. We're all moving forward. Let's have an intense future.